What's going on guys, Arrow here and welcome back to another video. Now in today's video, I want to talk to you guys about Pokemon Legends Arceus and Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl as a couple of new pieces of information have come out for this game and I figured I'd give you guys my thoughts and talk about it, but we also have a very interesting post from July which people are talking about again because it looks like this person may have actually predicted a lot of stuff about these games that is turning out to be true, especially with Pokemon Legends Arceus. Now real quick before we get started, I just want to give a quick shout out to the sponsor of today's video, Dragon City. Dragon City is a free to play game that is available on both iOS and Android devices. You can collect over a thousand different dragons and build your own dragon empire within this game. Breed two different types of dragons together and hatch new ones and feed them in order to make them evolve. You can then train your dragon and take them into battle to try to make them more powerful. There's even different types of PvP modes that allow you to fight against your friends and other people to see who has the stronger dragon. So if you're interested in this game, definitely be sure to click the link in the description and you can get a special exclusive free reward that includes 15,000 food, 30,000 gold, and 10 gems. These rewards are only going to be available for new users and for 7 days. So definitely be sure to click the link in the description to play Dragon City and thank you so much again to Dragon City for sponsoring this video. Alright, so in terms of Pokemon, the first thing that's happened is in Japan, we actually now have the pre-order cards for both Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl and Pokemon Legends Arceus, and these always come out like a few weeks before the games are about to release that give you like the information about how big the game is and usually have some like screenshots and things on the back. We had these same images that happened for like Pokemon Sword and Shield, so now we have these for Pokemon Legends Arceus and Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. So if we take a look at these images right here, it's pretty cool, it's just pretty kind of standard with what they look like but on the back we actually have some more like new images of what the games are going to be like so we can actually see kind of like the file sizes for these games as well and for pokemon brilliant diamond and shining pro each game is it says here that the estimate for each game is going to be 10 gigabytes so that's pretty cool and then for pokemon legends arceus it says here that the estimate for their file size is 7 gigabytes so it looks like this is probably going to be the final kind of uh, estimate as for how big the game is going to be usually when it appears on the back of these cards this is like the final kind of build of the game that pretty much has like a lot of this stuff already done so it looks like this is going to be the final sizes of these games now I have seen some mixed reactions about this information online, some people are a little bit confused that Pokemon Legends Arceus has a smaller file size than Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, especially because Pokemon Legends Arceus looks like such a bigger, kind of more expansive game that's going to have a lot more to it, so it's just a bit weird that like Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl looks like it's going to be 3 whole gigabytes bigger, and the first thing that I gotta say is like, file sizes really don't matter a lot when it comes to games, especially with like Nintendo games, like there's a lot of times when there's like really really small games with like not a lot of content in them that have really big file sizes and it makes you think like the game is full of so much stuff in it and then there's also many times where the game is just like really really well compressed and the game could be really huge and have so much content but they compress it down into like a very small file size so you shouldn't really look at a file size and think it's going to have a ton of content depending on it it could just be like maybe pokemon legends Arceus just has some really really good compression technology and even though it's going to be such a big expansive open world they definitely could have just compressed it down down and gotten everything into a nice small file size so we can't really judge too much about it but this is nice if you kind of want like an estimate if you are planning on buying these games digitally now you know how much free space you kind of have to have on your Nintendo Switch or if you should go out and buy a micro SD card if you're going to need the extra space so it's just nice to have that information. Now on the Pokemon Legends Arceus card, it looks like we actually have like the first real picture of Arceus within like the actual gameplay of Pokemon Legends, and it's just kind of like a very bright colored version of it. It's not really that detailed, so we don't really know exactly when this could happen or what part it's going to be, but it is kind of interesting to have this image. I wonder if it's going to be like a transformation, or maybe this is like the final boss fight or something. I don't know, but it's kind of cool to finally see Arceus actually be in the gameplay because we haven't seen that in any trailer or anything like that, so that's kind of cool. But the big thing that a lot of people are talking about from the recent information is that it looks like that this post that was made back in July may actually be kind of true now and have some credibility. And so we're going to take a look at this because it looks like that some of the things that were mentioned in this might actually have kind of turned out to be true now. And so that's why a lot of people are kind of going back to this and paying more attention to it. 
So I will have it linked below if you guys want to read it, but I'm just going to kind of go through the list right here because there is a couple of things here. So the first thing that it says is Dialga and Palkia from BDSP have new signature abilities called Brilliant Dilation and Shining Bending. So that sounds kind of interesting. It says here, Brilliant Dilation reduces the target's speed every turn. Shining Bend reduces the target's accuracy every turn. So these both sound like very kind of broken abilities. I don't know if there would actually be abilities like this. I mean, the one with speed, I guess, could kind of happen. I could see that. I mean, we have abilities like speed boost and, and stamina, which always like raises stat every turn. But Shining Bend seems a little kind of too broken. If you if you ask me, like having an ability that reduces accuracy every turn, that seems kind of way too busted. But I don't know, maybe there's some other part to it. And then it says here, Pokemon Legends Arceus's adventure starts on the island on the northeast side of Sinnoh. So if we take a look at the map right here, I'm guessing it would be kind of this area right here. It says here, this island acts as the intro slash tutorial area of the game. On the island, the player must find three plates, grass, fire, and water. The grass plate is guarded by a Turtwig, the fire plate is guarded by a Chimchar, and the water plate is guarded by a Piplup. There are guardian Pokemon that are stronger like a Sun and Moon Totem Pokemon. And remember, this was posted back in July, and I'm pretty sure we didn't have like that Pokemon uh, presents that actually revealed more information until like August. So this person was saying all of this stuff before that even happened, and we did find out that there are going to be like some really OP Pokemon that are kind of just going to be roaming. I think they're called Alpha Pokemon, so it's kind of cool how this stuff is mentioning that. And then it says here, after obtaining the first three plates, the player can access the main area of Sinnoh, and the other 15 plates are scattered there. Some of the plates are guarded by stronger Pokemon, and some are in possession of base leaders who will hand you over the plates after the battles. So I wonder if these kind of base leaders are talking about like those people that we met in a recent trailer. And then it says here, with all 18 plates in hand, the player has access to the Hall of Origin through a portal. The Hall of Origin is like another dimension, think like the distortion world, and it has a glass and crystal theme, along with a crystal having colors of the 18 plates. Arceus is at the end of the Hall of Origin, but in a different form called the Origin form, like Giratina. So that actually sounds kind of cool, and I feel like having a new Arceus form in this could definitely happen. Like, I don't think that that's kind of too far-fetched to expect. Um, it also says here, it is gigantic like Eternamax Eternatus, and has to be faced in a double battle with the help of your rival. So then it says here, it resembles a centaur having a black hole in its chest, and it's like the center of a galaxy, so that's actually kind of a really interesting type of design if they actually do that. I mean, Arceus' design, I feel like, is really perfect, to be honest. Like, if they told them to make a god Pokemon, that really does look like a god Pokemon. I don't know how they did it, but Arceus' design, I really do love it, so to see, like, a brand new form of Arceus does excite me a lot, and I feel like it would be kind of cool to see what they come up with, so I am pretty excited to see if that's actually going to happen. Then it says here, he knows a new move called Creation Pulse, which ignores resistance and always does normal damage no matter what type the target is. And then it says here he also has an ability called the original one which gives it no weakness. So that actually seems kind of cool as well. It seems like it's just going to be a very strong Pokemon that you're going to have to take down. And then it says here, at the end of the game, Dialga and Palkia with Brilliant Dilation and Shining Ben can be transferred to Pokemon Legends Arceus in the Hall of Origin to obtain its origin forms. So it looks like the Dialga and Palkia might have some new forms as well. That excites me a lot. I mean, I don't know how true that could actually be, but I don't know how that could work because it would kind of imply that you would have to buy Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl and transfer them over. I don't know if they would do that, but then again, if they do, it wouldn't really surprise me. And here's where it gets kind of really interesting, where it says here there's going to be new forms of Decidueye, Typhlosion, Samurott, Meowth, the Growlithe line, the Scyther line, Dunsparce, the Ninkata line, Zorark, the Wimpod line, Suicune, Entei, and Raikou, and then finally the last thing that it says here is Ultra Beast can also be found in the Distortion world. So the part about the Pokemon here is kind of really crazy because this person, remember, said this back in July and we didn't really have anything with like the Hisuian Growlithe and anything like that revealed because that all happened in August and this person basically said that you're going to see new forms of the Growlithe line, which happened, you're going to see a new form of the Scyther line, which happened as well. We got that new Pokemon Cleaver and you're going to see something with Zorark, which we also got with Hisui and Zorua and Zorark. So it really seems like with a lot of the other stuff that was also mentioned, maybe this person does have some interesting information. And the fact that they also said Decidueye, Typhlosion, and Samurott, I mean, those are obviously the three starters of this game. So maybe they're going to have new forms as well. I honestly didn't think that this could happen, but maybe they really do have like new evolutions for these Pokemon. Maybe that's why they've kind of held off against showing them evolved in battle. I don't know. It could be really, really cool if they do decide to do something like that but either way a lot of this stuff is kind of very interesting now and it does make me kind of very excited for these games. 
And so yeah, there you go guys, that's all the information that we have right now about Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl and Pokemon Legends Arceus. If you guys enjoyed this video, then definitely be sure to click that like button and also comment down below and let me know how you guys feel about this, how do you guys feel about the file sizes for the games, and how do you feel about this potential leak. Definitely be sure to comment down below and let me know. If you're new to this channel, then please be sure to subscribe. I'm definitely going to have some more Pokemon content in the future, so definitely be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on that. Click on that bell to become part of the notification squad. Go follow me on Twitter at actual arrows. You can be featured in videos and also join my discord server as well we've got a bunch of people in there who are always talking about pokemon and smash bros and nintendo so definitely be sure to join that and yeah that's pretty much it thank you so much for watching